All right, everyone, I am here. It is that season. And this is something so exciting because I am here with Eric Jones, professional pumpkin carver. Yes. And Eric is going to give us some tips and tricks and some good news on something that is coming up. Eric, tell us a little bit about what you do and the inspiration of the art behind you. I'm a professional pumpkin carver. I carve ice, snow, sand. Um, I know the folks at Buffalo have seen my work with the, with the uh, Josh Allen snow sculptures and mm -hmm. things like that. This time of year, it's all about pumpkins. Yes. So I'll carve about 100 pumpkins this year. Oh my gosh. What is behind you, Eric? Yeah, this is actually a witch carving. Um, it, I guess it's a witch. I don't know. I, it's, it's kind of a creepy uh, witch-like <laughs> character. Um, but yeah, uh, this is for a display of a couple different shows I've, I've got coming up, and it's got some effects on it, and uh, another guy hiding down in here. Just kind of an evil display, and it's 100% pumpkin. Nothing in here is fake or manufactured except these things. So uh, it's all real pumpkin just put together. This is similar to what I would be doing on television. Oh, and speaking of television, besides AM Buffalo, Eric, you are headed to the Food Network. Please tell us about that. Yes. Uh, season three of Outrageous Pumpkins, a, a new hit show on the Food Network where it's just pumpkin carvers. Uh, it's already started. Uh, you can stream it on Discovery Plus or watch it Sunday nights at 10 p.m. on the Food Network. Where do you get your inspiration and how long have you been carving pumpkins? I've only been carving pumpkins professionally for about four or five years. Obviously, like everyone, I've been doing it since I was a kid and I had a passion for it, but started getting good at it just a few years ago when I added my sculpting talent. Um, most of the inspiration comes from the pumpkin itself. So when I'm shopping for pumpkins, uh, I can see the image in the pumpkin. Usually it's kind of strange. It's kind of like, I'm a caricature artist, so I see everyone's caricature in their face as soon as I see them. It's a gift and a curse. Mm -hmm. But with pumpkins, I just look at the pumpkin and it kind of tells me. So if you look at this pumpkin, it's large on the top and small on the bottom. It's already skull shaped. So I kind of kept those, uh, those skull like characters and, and just brought it to life. Okay, so what do you see in this pumpkin, Eric? This is just a normal pumpkin that I'm just gonna do a little display on. It's just kind of a cartoon face. It's got a big broad front, so I'll make big bulging eyes. It'll be nice for TV. You hear that? It'll be nice for TV. He's going to carve a little bit for us. So I'm going to be quiet so Eric can get to work. All right, let's do this, Eric. All right, let's do it. First thing you have to do is remove the skin of the pumpkin. Um, you can do this with a, with a rake tool or just a big vegetable slicer like this and, and get to this part. This is the part that you want to carve. Now, judging by the weight of this pumpkin, it's probably an inch and a half to maybe two inch thick outside so depending on how deep I want to go you know that'll all be um, determined by the thickness of the pumpkins determine where that brow line is going to be and I'll just make kind of a generic face and then you kind of make a um, like a big W almost so you're kind of starting like that and this will be the nose area and these will be the eyes and then a little bit here and this will ultimately be the nose you can kind of already start to see it just in a few seconds and then the uh, scowl lines or frown lines or smile lines, depending on how you see it. So just with those few pieces right there, you can already start to see a face coming to life. So make sure you watch Outrageous Pumpkins on Food Network and Discovery Plus to see who wins. Because Eric uh, is not going to tell you, but he's going to tell me, right? Eric, who won? <laughs> you have to wait and see. About three more weeks. Well, I tried. <laughs> Stay tuned. Oh, right. Eric. So we can try we one more try. time. Did you win? Uh, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice try. Nice try. Yes, yes, yes. Sunday night. You find okay. out Sunday night. Well, I'm sure plenty of people are going to be watching after seeing that. Yes. But you are now here to put some of those techniques in our hands yes. and see if we can handle it, right? Literally. Yes, yes. <clears throat> you should have a, a small, oh. acute uh, tool, so it looks something like this. Yeah, so you want to use the other side of that one. Oh. And yeah, just yep. like that. And hold it close to the, the end there. Now, I've already opened up a cavity for kind of an eye yes. socket. We're going to try to sculpt an actual eyeball in just a couple of minutes here, all right? All right, okay. let's do it. So what I want you to start with is kind of make, come in here where the tear duct would be and then make just kind of a rainbow that goes way down to the outside like that. Oh. Just gouge that material out. The this requires the a little bit more effort than <laughs> Yeah, I you make it look easy. Oh my gosh, that is a weird... Okay. Hold it really close to the end and it'll, it'll give you a little more hand strength. Okay. And then you're kind of making a teardrop shape. So then, then come down here and do the same thing on the bottom. Oh. Okay. Almost, like, almost like a Tom Brady football, right? Okay, and then you said there's a, a technique to pushing where you put... 
pushing on the tool, correct? Yeah, hold it right to the, close to the end, right. So you should have a shape that's kind of like that. And this is like a cartoon face, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine's already looking a little angry. <laughs> well, that's okay. That's okay. That's great. That's Mine's good. looking a little now, sleepy. Now yours, put a line underneath that, Mercedes. Mine's looking a little sleepy. Sleepy. Put, oh, put a line sleepy. below that. A little and line so, below it? So, yeah. So you have a, uh, that'd be like the bag under the eye, right? Yep. Oh. Okay, so that's perfect. That's pretty so cool. You and I have a little bit wider ball here, so we're going to go and put a line under, right through the center like that. Line through the and center. that bottom line now, that bottom area will be the bag under the eye. Oh. Does that make sense? Just yeah. like that. That's good. Ooh. Should mine that's connect? Good. Yeah, yeah, connected at least where the uh, where the tear duct is. The outside doesn't matter as much. Mm -hmm. So you should have this this teardrop shape now, with with kind of this bag under the eye, right? So okay. it looks like this is a this is a plus forty pumpkin. So a little sleepy under the eye. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm way over forty. So I, I can. <laughs> I'm you're not there 40. yet. You're not even I'm, there I'm yet. Not. So you don't have to get upset about that. So now take a. a <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes don't look like this at all. So now take it's a look. It's her birthday this week. I know, I know. <laughs> Twenty something again. Twenties, yes. So take a little bit bigger tool with a flat end. So you should have a, a little bit larger tool. Mm -hmm. Larger. You want to take? Uh, let's see. Take, you see this? Look, everything's branded. This is Eric Jones' is, specialty tools. This is so so cool. I love that these are modded out tools. We got them. The these one right special. next to that one you just grabbed. This little yes, tiny right one. right there. Got Grab it. the flat end of that. So you want to take this material right. out where the, the right eyeball one? is. Is that the right one? Yeah, it'll okay. work. Mm -hmm. And you're just taking this material right here out. Just, uh, oh. just remove a little bit of that. So you want it to look like the eyeball is recessed. <gasps> Oh, I so see. those eyelids can These go over These tools are fantastic, I'll tell you that much. I've, I've carved many a pumpkin and it's not been, not to say this is easy, you gotta put some real elbow grease into it. Yeah. Yes. It's definitely. Yep. We will definitely talk to you more later, Eric. I just have to say my eye is going south over here. Is it? <laughs> yes, you, you want me to come over Does and give you a hand? Does it look a little, it looks be, a little. Yeah, 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 let me give you a hand. Oh, that's perfect. What do you mean? Yeah, it's going. You're All crushing right. it. So, so you know what? We're gonna get a couple of tips and tricks from Eric during the break. But we'll be this right back. You're watching AM Buffalo. This is so much fun. That's actually perfect.